People of Science, take one. So David, you, you chose uh, Thomas Bayes and Ronald Fisher. What, what did both these, these people of science mean to you? Oh, a huge amount. These are two huge figures in the history of statistical inference. Bayes, I was introduced to those ideas when I first was a student and studying mathematics, and I found them absolutely riveting. And this idea that we could apply probabilities to facts, I, I've stuck with my whole life. I've been a Bayesian statistician, as it's known, in my research work, and I teach both of them. But I, over that time also, I've come to develop a huge respect for Fisher, who was a, a genius mathematician, just about the entire scientific literature, or anyone who does a statistical check of a hypothesis. You use this idea of a p-value. Ronald Fisher invented the p-value. So that's when we say, in particle physics, we'll say we've discovered the Higgs boson. Uh, it's a five sigma discovery, and that's, that's Fisher. That's Fisher, yes, yeah, Fisher. Now, now Bayes is, we, we're going back a long time to, to Bayes. Yeah. Uh, when was Bayes? Bayes when? was extraordinary. He was a, a nonconformist minister in Tunbridge Wells, and he was an amateur mathematician, died in 1761. But then afterwards, in his paper, was found a manuscript that then was published a couple of years later by the Royal Society. And this manuscript is, has become enormously famous and hugely influential. Probability around Bayes' time was used in sort of two different ways. It was used in, in the idea of chance, um, you know, future events, pure unpredictability. But it was also used for when you're uncertain, say, about uh, whether someone was guilty of a crime or not. In other words, uncertainty about a fact. Bayes put these two together and to assign probabilities to those is still deeply controversial. Fisher loathed the idea. So, so whilst Bayes was a, seems like a relatively nice man, preaching in Tunbridge Wells, and, uh, Fisher's a, a different kettle of fish. Isn't yes, yeah, you, what you might call a slightly difficult personality. He could be quite kind and generous to his students, but if there was any suggestion that anyone would threaten him or question him, he became very aggressive indeed. He had a, a foul temper, and he just fell out with, you know, with people again and again for, life, for, for, for their whole lives. Well, which brings me to the question. I mean, you've chosen these two yeah. individuals. So, so what is the difference between them? The core of the disagreement is whether it's reasonable to assign a probability to a fact, something that is potentially ascertainable, but we just don't know what that is. Bayes said it was, and develop the calculus, the mathematics, for dealing with it. He's got this lovely experiment to do with balls being thrown onto a billiard table. So Bayes' thought experiment was to take a billiard table and throw a ball at random onto it. And I'm going to guess where it landed. OK. So take the ball away. Yep. OK. I have to guess where, where that is. And um, the way, the only information I'm going to get is what happens when you throw more balls onto the table, and you're going to tell me then which side of that line do they lie. So could you do that? Just start throwing balls on. Just in random directions just random at direction. random speed. And then, yeah, so and like then that. just... What you should do now is tell me how many landed on this side of the line and how many landed on that side of the line. Three of them are on the... The, on, on your on the left side. as you stand yep. like that, and, and two, two of them are side. over here. OK, right. You might think, then, that I should estimate the line is two-fifths of the way along the table. Yeah. That's what Fisher would say, two-fifths. Bayes would not say that. He would say it's three-sevenths of the way along the table. But the data only say two-fifths. And that's what Fisher would say, just using the data. Whereas Bayes would pull it a bit towards the middle and say it's there. And what's the difference between Fisher's approach and Bayes' approach? Uh, the Fisher's approach, he will just use the information from the data alone. Whereas the Bayesian approach will use also the fact that I know that you threw that first ball at random to lie on this table. And that piece of information actually changes what I think. I'm going to tell you something, actually, because actually the answer was that I think it was sort of about, it was about here, which is somewhere between two fifths and three seconds. <laughs> 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 <That's laughs> <about right. laughs> between 40% and two fifths and yeah. three seconds. Yeah. Well, that was roughly yeah. where the ball yeah. was. Yeah. So. Yeah. How important is the work of Bayes and Fisher? to the modern world? Bayesian ideas are everywhere. Your spam filter is probably a Bayesian spam filter. All sorts of image processing techniques, huge amount of machine learning algorithms will be based on, on Bayesian methodology. 
And Fisherian methods, again, staggeringly important. Every scientific paper you read is going to have a p-value at the end of it. But it's all to do with how data changes our judgment, our knowledge, what, what we can learn from data. And that's, you know, that's what the modern world's about.